Welcome back everybody, Ryan Nelson here. And what you just saw was a bunch of footage I shot for stock on my recent trip to Minneapolis. And I wanna share with you guys how I edit my stock footage quickly and efficiently. Let's get to it. Okay, so once you get home and get your files all downloaded into your proper folders, open up Premiere Pro, bring all of your files in there, and then the easiest thing to do is just right click on one file and then go down to new sequence from clip. And then you wanna rename that sequence to cover everything that's gonna be in that export. I use the same naming convention I use for where my files are located, year, month, day, and then whatever I'm doing that day or wherever I'm at or whatever client I'm working for today, MPLS for Minneapolis. This is a very important step that will save you a lot of time later on You'll see what I mean in a few minutes. Okay, from there you can back out and drag your entire folder onto V1. This will load every clip in that folder onto that timeline. Next thing you wanna do in your project bin is right click, new item, and create an adjustment layer. Hit okay. Bring that adjustment layer down onto V2 and drag it out. I do between 10 and 15 seconds. Make that adjustment layer between 10 and 15 seconds. When you're doing stock, you want to do shorter clips because if somebody wants four seconds of this thing, they don't want to pay for a clip that's a minute long. They want to you know, pay as little as possible for what they need. You're not going to go out and buy a brand new car because you need four new tires on your car. So just kind of think of it that way. So let's say, let's bring this out to roughly 15 seconds. So I use this adjustment layer as a guide to how long I need to make my clips. And I usually trim the beginning and the end of each clip because there's usually a little bit of camera shake in there. I can drag the beginning of the clip down, drag the end of the clip back, and then here I've got, okay, it starts to go a little shaky right there, but I can drag that actual clip back, it tells me it's 13 seconds, between 10 and 15 seconds, usually. Like I said, there's no real set rules here, um, but I try to do between 10 and 15 seconds. So that's what I do for my entire, all my clips, just keep dragging that adjustment layer around and then making different clips. And then the short bits that aren't usable or you're not going to export and put up to stock, just delete them because you're not gonna use them. There's no need for them to be there. Okay, so that's the basics on how I edit each clip. I don't have to sit there and right click and speed duration or drag the end of the clip out to see exactly how long it is. I know roughly from my adjustment layer that's 10 or 15 seconds long or whatever that I'm within, I'm pretty close to that range. So that helps me out a lot. And then once I've gone through all my clips, selected all my good parts, deleted all the bad parts, you don't want anything there that you're not going to export. Grab that adjustment layer again out of your project bin and then put that onto video three and drag it out over your entire timeline. Now, if all your clips are shot in roughly the same spot, same lighting, same everything, you'll probably just need to do one quick color grade. But if you're in slightly different scenes, slightly different areas, all you're gonna have to do is cut, hit C on the keyboard and cut that adjustment layer and then readjust the next adjustment layer. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'll select that adjustment layer, go over to color and just give it a really light color correction, color grade, just to make it pop a little bit more than what came directly out of the camera. So once I've done that, if I go to my next clip, well, that's the same, but if I go to this clip and I say, well, that looks a little green, hit C on the keyboard, cut that adjustment layer, select that three adjustment layer and just add, add a little magenta to it. And then that will affect all the clips from there on out. I know for me, this makes color grading my stock clips really fast and really easy. Uh, if you guys have a different method, let me know what it is. I'd love to hear different ways of doing this. This is just how I figured out what works best for me. Okay, so once you've cut your clips to the length you wanna export, you've color graded your clips, now it's time to export your clips. Here is the really, really quick part. So go back to the first clip in your timeline, put your playhead over that first clip, hit X. This will put an in point and an out point for exporting. Then on your keyboard, hit Command-M. This will bring up your export dialog box. 
and then select the settings you need for your stock output, whatever your stock company, whatever you're uploading to requires, this is where you set that. Mine requires no audio whatsoever, so I'm gonna uncheck export audio. So this will export only the video, there will be no audio associated with this whatsoever. Now if you wanna put this in a certain location, click the output name in blue next to the output name and then select the folder you want all these to upload to. Hit OK and then hit Q. Okay, this will open Adobe Media Encoder. The first clip will take a little bit more time to open the program and export into. And while that's doing that, maybe go grab a cup of coffee or some water. The important thing here is to not let it play or export or process each clip until you have every one of your clips in that queue. So once that's in Media Encoder, go back to Premiere Pro, put your playhead over the next clip, hit X again, and this should move your in and out points to that particular clip. Hit Command M again. This brings up the same dialog box. All your settings should be the same. Double check that but they should be the same. So all you're gonna have to do is hit Command M and then Q for every clip from here on out. Go back, hit that clip, hit X, Command M, Q. So like I said, the important thing is to get all of your clips in that Q before you hit play. What this will do is save you a ton of time renaming every file because this will take that name and it will add a one, two, underscore one, underscore two after every file. So they're automatically renamed in order of the way you exported them. Hit play, walk away, go do whatever you want for a little while, depending on how many clips you have in there. It might take half hour, hour, depends. It really just depends. I, uh, I exported 50 clips last night and it took this little laptop about an hour to do it. So I just went and had a drink with a friend, came back, they were done. All right, so once these are all exported, they're ready for uploading to your particular stock video service. I use Blackbox if you wanna check it out. There's a link down below, check that out. They upload to four different major stock video sites, not just these little no-name sites you've never heard of and get like four people a month or whatever. Anyway, check them out. Well, I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, this is the process I found that's kind of streamlined my uh, stock shooting, uploading, processing that whole thing. Uh, it works really well for me. I hope it works well for you. If you guys like this video, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, so. Okay, so. Okay, so. Open up Premiere Pro. Open up a